here we have the orange candy packet with this. Pannier rack to the uh, bike. So I've got the panniers from the Orange Canty panniers. So I'm just gonna try and install them myself, all by myself. So for that I'll have to like uh, remove the seat and probably get this off as well. So the mount has to go there. So I think I will take you with this journey also. I've got all the fittings just uh, unboxed. So this is going to be the back uh, brace and. either side of the bike like so like so and that is going to like uh, hold the panniers so in today's video i will be probably installing these so i'm yet to receive one box of pannier because last time when they send it out i think uh, there's some miscommunication that has happened with the shipment I, and uh, i just received one pannier and the second one is actually in the transit itself so once that also gets in i'll probably be completing the video then only so uh, yeah, and uh, one more thing, I'm yet to do its uh, ownership review on this motorbike. So I've done over 20,000 kilometers in like a span of nine months. So I think uh, post uh, installation and post this video, that will also come out. Uh, In-depth ownership, long-term ownership video for the Hunter 350. So yeah, let's get into this and then we'll uh, get going from there. To like install the uh, pannier rack. So the first thing we'll need to remove will be the seat. And I'm thinking about keeping the sari guard uh, just in case so that even if I'm not using the panniers, there is some sort of a protection here if at all a pillion is sitting at, in the back. And uh, the rear rack, uh, I think there is enough clearance here, so getting into it. So the things that need to be removed first will be the seat the, and the panier, like the rear rack. So let's get into that and then we'll continue from there. So now the thing that you have to get uh, remove is actually uh, these four. These four. You'll have to like remove these four nuts. So they are basically holding this uh, backrest. So if you don't have a backrest or a rear rack installed, you probably will be having the rear uh, grab handles from Enfield itself. So you'll have to get them removed first, and then you'll have to like loosen this also in order to loosen the rear mud guard. Only then you will get access to uh, this bolt. So yours, I hope you can see that. So there is a bolt here also, which is basically holding the sari guard in place. Uh, thinking even in second thought, I might even remove the sari guard. I think, uh, yeah, that would make sense because I will not have to mess with this again. Uh, so for that, where is it mounted? Where is the sari guard mounted? Okay, now that is going to be tricky. Let's see, let's see if I'm able to get it removed, I'll just keep you updated. So these are the things that you have to actually get loosened up or removed first to get them installed. So let, let's get, some, get on with it, I'll just loosen this, on, this up first and then uh, if at all there is anything important uh, to share, I'll just put it up, yeah? <laughs>
it's sort of a book fix. So, yeah. I'm using this for quite some time, so that's why it's all dirty. That is a pretty uh, simple thing. So the only one thing that I'm not liking about this uh, panel is actually the way you have to actually mount it. But here, it's uh, a simple process itself, but still it's a bit uh, cumbersome. What happens is you have to actually place it in, and then there are two latches. So if at all you have in the bike that uh, like your heart getting a hard to find, 
please get on to and uh, contact them. So I'll drop in all the contact details for their all them also. And uh, if you kind of uh, say that you found this channel and found about me, and from by through me is when you found out Orange Candy in Pania, they'll surely help you out in a different way itself, and uh, they'll offer you better rates also. So I will link all the contact numbers and the website that you can go ahead and like, check their stuff out. And yeah, that's about this good today's video. And uh, the next video that's going to come up is going to be my long-term market review of this bike. So I have practically run this over 20,000 kilometers in a span of nine months. So I will waiting for one year time, but still uh, 20,000 kilometers is good enough time for understanding the machine and the uh, uh, things that I have to like I have opinions about. So next video is surely going to be that. So stay tuned. Yeah.